So I've come into the top 200 again, and we're just looking at the highest priced players. And I just thought I'd show you guys what the player profile looks like. Um, just so you get a little bit more familiar with what's going on. So you can see on the chart the value history of the player. So this is the last three months, and we're in Neymar, and we're just looking, you know, six months, a year, generally speaking, He's, he's been a good hold. He's 27 years old. He's a forward. And you sort of just get get familiar with uh, what his price has been and where he is now. So you can see over the last six months, perhaps if you were to get on him at the start of the season, you could have got him below £7, and now he's at 8 62 at the time of speaking. So um, you can see that it, it seems like a relatively good investment. He's up a pound this season, and all in all, he's a, he's a great player. You can also see the media mentions. Now, as we spoke about in media dividends, the chances of him winning dividends are relatively high. He's a global name, and you can see here the, the history, the Daily Star, Daily Mail, Independent, BBC, Daily Express. They're all, they're all talking about him this week. <laughs> Salaries the idea of his 28th birthday, um, power struggle with PSG boss. There's there's a load of media on him. Um, so you can see it's not necessarily just about his performances. The media is way out. Um, and, and it really is vast between players. But the point I'm making here is that the reason he is £8.64, he is the number one on the index, he's the highest value player, is because... Firstly, lots of people have got on board of him. Secondly, you can see the media mentions. And thirdly, he is an outstanding footballer. Now we can see in stats what I mean by this. Now performance average per 90 minutes in the last six months is outstanding, absolutely phenomenal compared to uh, most other players. So, so this uh, graph showing stats, stats per game um, it's, it's in relative terms, uh, so it's essentially just compared to other players in the index, and it's just trying to give an indication over um, what his performance uh, entails and, and how he's doing. So for those that aren't aware of what this number really means, um, performance, performance ratings over 200 are generally considered very good. The fact that his average per 90 minutes over the last six months is 221, that really is a statement. Um, so yeah, this this is a logical one. If we look at last month, he's at 248. You can see his attempted dribbles and successful dribbles. He's getting shots on target. He's scoring goals. He's everything that you want as a, as a player on the football index. It's also worth just uh, mentioning at this point that there are some very logical reasons as to why Neymar is 864, and you can reason all you want about it. But he is he is one of the, the easy players to, to pick out that is rated very highly, um, and he is essentially bringing in the money for those people that are holding him because of the media dividends and because of his match performances. Now, if we go back to the top 200, and we go and take a look again at the highest priced players, will also show some surprises. So at the moment, for those that, that follow football, Brout Haaland is obviously a phenomenal talent, but he has absolutely shot up in the last, uh, the last few weeks because of his performances at Dortmund since his transfer. If you look at the last six months, he started the season at about £3, and he is already at 6.24. So... 626, sorry. So you can see he's obviously uh, relatively new on the index. He's 19 years old. And this is really, really important to consider on the index. Age is huge in this in this uh, platform. And it's a little bit illogical, um, but it's, it's certainly worth keeping note of and, and definitely worth uh, keeping a tab on because some things just you can't fight. <laughs> so... So Brout Harland is rated at fifth, and if we take such, you know, a, a talent such as uh, Messi or Ronaldo, you'll see they aren't in the same distance, same class, sorry, as Brout Harland. So Messi is down here at five twenty-seven, and it takes us until about 
34, we see Cristiano Ronaldo at £3.20 a share. Now this is largely down to age. You'll see in between these, uh, me scrolling, you'll see some random names here that really are very young players, unproven players, but because there is so much hype surrounding them and their future, their value has been skyrocketed. So we see Ryan Shirky there of Leon. He is a teenage wonder kid. And he is currently more valuable on the index than Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, you can see the last three months. You can't even see six months because he wasn't available on the index. And you'll see he's gone from 252 up to four pounds. Now it's worth me also mentioning at this stage the concept of an IPO. Now this is the initial player offering the initial share price of a footballer so you can see with Ryan Shirky here he's 16 years old and he's, he's pretty much in his first season of professional football so this time last year nobody would have really paid attention nobody would have known him but he actually IPO'd around Christmas time December 2019 um, and you can see that his initial offering was 252 the index decided to IPO him and they, they set the price on IPO day. They also tell you in the news um, when a player is IPOing. So if you've got a favorite player that is a youngster, you you can just uh, bear in mind to, to keep a tab on the news in the index platform and you'll see when they IPO. IPO is absolutely crazy. Um, it's a crazy form and there's a, a lot of debate over it on the index community. It seems a little bit strange, but you can sort of just take a, a little look here at what happened with Ryan Shirky. Generally speaking, he's he's actually flown up in value, um, and for various reasons, but you can see he's a little bit of an unstable uh, buy. And 